This man didn't expect to find something during his walk. As time passed by, he was surprised to find out that the animal he took in wasn't a puppy. When Audrey Muzinka woke up during a cold winter morning, the first thing he thought about was warming himself up with some exercise. He wasn't in the mood for anything too strenuous and eventually settled on a nice, long walk. Fortunately for him, he lived in one of the more remote areas of Siberia, and there was a forest located behind his house. The man slipped on his boots, grabbed his thickest coat, and headed outdoors. Andre followed a clear footpath where many people before him had walked and where many more would follow. He visited the woods often, and his journey was always the same. On this day, he wanted to try something different. So he took a left and went down a path he had never seen. The trees seemed wider in this new area, and they were very tall. Andre could only see a little bit of sunshine peeking through the leaves. All of a sudden, Andre heard an unusual sound. Even though it was faint, he could already tell that it was a cry for help. He followed the sound since it wasn't too far from where he was. It didn't take long for him to find the source. Curled up against a tree was a baby animal. It was a puppy. The puppy's eyes were closed. It looked no more than a few weeks old. Ander couldn't imagine why anyone would abandon a helpless creature in the middle of a forest. The sight broke his heart. He stepped closer to the shivering animal. With outstretched arms, he picked up the puppy and held it close, hoping that his gloved hands would be able to provide some warmth to the poor animal. He didn't have any time to think about anything other than keeping the pup safe. Andre rushed home. As the man rescued an abandoned puppy, his gut feeling told him that this was going to be one of the most important things he had ever done. When he finally arrived back at his house, he took some blankets out and wrapped the ice-cold puppy up. He ran around to turn the heating on and collect some water. After a few minutes of being within Andre's care, the puppy had stopped shivering. It already looked like it was in a better state. Andre called the local vet and asked for a checkup. He wanted to make sure that the animal was healthy and happy. Andre had known the puppy for no more than a few hours, but already he could tell that they were going to become very close. Once again, he didn't really think his plans through and simply trusted his instinct. He adopted the strayed pup and named him Aquila. Over the next few months, Aquila grew larger. Andre noted that this new pet had a big appetite. It had been that way since the first day they had met. However, Aquila's hunger only grew with time. Andre knew that young animals required a lot of nutrients. In particular, canines and other mammals needed to feed on a regular basis to sustain their energy and weight. And yet, Aquila's eating habits continued to surprise Andre. As Aquila grew bigger, his facial features seemed to sharpen, but his body shape grew wider. One thing that began to gnaw at Andre's mind was a killer's breed. It was a mystery that he couldn't crack. It was just a little bit of curiosity since he had never seen a dog like a killer before. Andre had a lot of friends who were dog owners, so he turned to them with this burning question. They had no clue. They were just as confused as Andre was. He sent people pictures and videos of Aquila at different stages, hoping that someone would have an answer. And yet, his efforts were in vain. Something as simple as figuring out a dog's specific breed ended up becoming an impossible challenge. As the final resort, Andre reached out to an animal expert. The expert asked for a meeting in person so that she would be able to identify what breed a killer was. Soon after, Andre and Aquila were in the car driving towards the expert's location. What do you think happened next? Comment down below with your thoughts. Andre walked into the practice with Aquila attached by a leash. After speaking to the receptionist, he was directed to the expert's room. As he walked in, the expert's jaw dropped. The woman couldn't believe her eyes. Andre had spent all that time thinking that he was raising a puppy only to find out later that it's not a dog. It turned out that Aquila was a wolf. To make matters even more intriguing, Aquila was not just any random wolf, but a Eurasian gray wolf. This species is well known to be the largest canine on Earth. Wolf cubs and puppies share many resemblances, 
so it was only natural for Andri to make that mistake. However, as Aquila grew older, it was almost undeniable that he was a gray wolf. The animal expert explained to Andri that the size difference was one of the key things to look out for. After finding out the true species of his dear pet, Andri had to look out for Aquila's well-being. It turns out that many people find the idea of a tamed wolf intriguing. Word about Aquila had reached the local zoo. These zookeepers started to bombard Andri with phone calls and emails, trying to convince him to send Aquila to the zoo. Andri had heard stories about zoos, which made him reluctant to step inside one, let alone give his friend up to one. The alternative option was also unappealing. Many people encouraged Andri to release Aquila back into the wild, some of them fearing for the safety of Andri and his neighborhood. Andri was unsure about this, since there was no guarantee that Aquila would be safe in the woods. He remembered the first day he met the wolf cub. Aquila was left all alone to fend for himself. Even though some people would argue that it was the most ethical thing to do, Andri could give reasons as to why he didn't believe that was the case. Instead, the best choice seemed to be evident. Aquila had already spent so much time with Andri and adapted to a new lifestyle. It only made sense to let the wolf stay with him. Andri had already taken ownership of the wolf, and it didn't feel right to give him up. At first, Andri's family was hesitant about his choice to raise a wolf. There are a lot of potential dangers when it comes to interacting with wild animals. Wolves, in particular, can be unpredictable. They are often feared for their carnivorous hunger and brute strength. Nevertheless, in the time that Andri had gotten to know Aquila, the canine had never shown even a hint of aggressiveness towards any human. Andri felt as if there was nothing to be scared of. Aquila was just like a domesticated dog. It had been over a year and a half since Andri adopted Aquila, and they had grown to become inseparable. Andri chose to follow his heart instead of listening to the judgments of others. Eventually, his friends and family fully supported his decision. Andri was grateful that he had come across the young creature in the woods, and Aquila was grateful that someone had found him. To this day, they live together in Andri's Siberian home as happy as they could possibly be. In fact, the relationship Andri formed with Aquila inspired the man to help other wild animals in need. Andri created several wild animal bases across Russia where gray wolves can live safely. These bases have grown in popularity, and there are now a range of canines resting there, such as foxes and coyotes. Andri's work has saved the lives of countless creatures. In order to get more people to sympathize with canines, Andri turned to social media to share his experiences. He has a successful Instagram account called Black Canadian Wolf with over 100,000 followers. On a regular basis, his online fans are treated with countless pictures and videos. The internet is the perfect place to spread awareness about the protection of canines. The story of Andri and Aquila has touched the hearts of people all over the world, and I hope that it has done the same for you. It would be great if you could leave a comment down below telling me about what you thought about the story. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, and I hope to see you in another video. Take care.